Look at the height on that. Wah, wah, wah. That's, a That's almost as much of a letdown as you're driving today. Oh. Where are you at? Where are you at? Day one. Day one. Day one of three. Today's just practice day. Ben, can you be a national champion? We'll see. This is all the stuff that you can win by entering this race. Got a nice TV generator. A little bike for, for dad to scoot around on. Bunch of racing stuff, so we're hopeful. Getting ready to do practice here, and I'm standing here and I'm thinking, huh, I've got my coffee. I don't feel completely geared up. And then it hits me. Ah, now we're ready to go. One of the things that's kind of fun about this race is there's people coming in from tracks all over the place. Uh, and they're good, but it gives you a chance, especially when you're not racing, to root for the guys here from Newcastle that are racing. And, uh, you know, we race with a bunch of good people, really enjoy spending our weekends with them. And so, today I'm hoping they all do well. We'll root for the Newcastle home team. One of the things that's always interesting here at the Nationals is to see how people uh, come to the track. And you can see that our next door neighbors here have quite the vehicle. They came in that, and we came in this. This is what the stall racing rockets come in. We're through three rounds of practice. Stall racing finally at full speed been joined by Andy and Casey and Ben best looking pit crew in all of Newcastle Motorsports Park right now we're making changes each session so as the day goes on we should get closer and closer um, I felt all right but not not where I'd like to be so we'll see next next session if the changes we just made help out at all which they they better couldn't hurt So we get to 150 subscribers by November 1st. Ben will scarf down a habanero. I will eat a habanero. Civilized. Probably use a fork and a knife. Easy as that. Get a bit. I ready. cannot tell you how excited I am to see that. So please, if you haven't already, go out, subscribe. Alright, so it's time to put on Ben's brand new race tires. So to do that, we've got to pop off the tires that he was using to practice and dad's been struggling for a while still struggling but if you want some tips we did a how-to video on how to flip tires I'll put a link in the description so feel free to check that out if you need some help flipping tires I'll also send that link to dad. All right guys, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been a rough go today. I had one session where I felt good. Um, and even then, I mean, it didn't, it didn't feel great. It just felt a little bit, my time was, I guess, a little bit faster, but just something's off, something's been off. I, most of the driver, I'm not gonna say. I, I've been driving pretty poorly today, but I just something felt like just a little off mechanically, made some changes and nothing really seemed to help. We're switching engines. We actually just put on my normal engine. I was running dad's this weekend, because again, my normal engine's like five years old, but it's been a trooper. It's been doing great in the KRA races, so swapping that, hopefully that fixes our problems. I'm not 100% certain if it will. Um, I'm just ready for tomorrow already. I, I wanna get back out on track and see if these changes worked. All right, well, I'm being big timed here. I can't get time with the no, driver here. No, 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 no. It's, hey, you big timed me. Put you in your 
place. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just here to turn wrenches and do as Ben says. So we can't get time with the star right now, but it's a it's a beautiful, slightly chilly morning. Guys, we need the compressor out. Ben gets pretty frazzled over about anything. So it doesn't take much, and that's proven the case today. Saturday morning at the Grand Nationals number two. A lot of 206 carts out here, a lot of talent. A lot of top guys are out here, so it's been fun to watch that. Ben's getting ready to go out for his first round of practice. And the first round of practice decides where you start in qualifying. So it's pretty important. And Ben's gonna try to go out there and get him get himself into the best starting spot for qualifying. And also he's had some some issues from yesterday, just every practice run he was working through issues. So we're hoping we've worked through that and it's gonna be smooth sailing and a fast car for the rest of the day. after the first timed practice which indicates where you go out in qualifications you can see the boys are working on a throttle cable Benji's came loose during the run yeah, and he was like actually pulling it with his hand yeah, back here to try and get speed had a little bit of success don't really know how good the card is since he was driving it with one hand but he uh, he came in 25th out of 40 in the time practice well, there's only 40 on the track, right? Yeah, but it's 50 guys. 50 guys. Well, we take everything we, we can get. Yeah. <clears throat> We're trying to build Benji up. He's short of confidence. You know, he can't get any uh, He's got too much grip. So he's hopped through the corners. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and 48 degrees. It's going to get nothing but worse. I'm amazed at this tire compound. We've never had that problem. With the normal? With the, with the other tires that we use. Yeah. I just can't figure that out. Well, we're going to need you to. <laughs> we'll see how it goes today, but I, you know, <laughs> that first practice doesn't leave me very optimistic. Ben, do you have time now for your poor peasant brother? What do you mean? Oh, earlier you were big timing me. No, I wasn't big timing Yeah, you, you were. were you were big timing me. It's like, uh, imagine LeBron James is in the middle of like So you're comparing, stretching. let's just stop right there. You're comparing yourself to LeBron James here. We're That's both, why I think, I think we're both you're the best time. in our fields. <laughs> so, what I'm saying, my point is that you're not going to interview LeBron James in warm-ups. No, you're going to interview him either way before the game is even remotely close to starting. You're going to email or email interview him like maybe after the game's over, after everything's you know whenever he's had a chance to get what Listen, he needs to do done. You give the people what they want, and what they want is real time in the moment interviews and. You're not doing that. I don't have time. I really thought about this last night. It's supposed to be fun, you know. I, that's why I'm in this. Like, it'd be great to do well, but just go out there and have a good time. So I, you know, these issues suck, but I've had I've had a lot of good luck with me mechanical issues recently. So I'll take a little bad luck here as long as we're good for today and tomorrow. So where I qualify right now is where I'm going to start every single heat race today. Um, so that would three be qualifying is important, don't you it's, think, Ben? It's fairly important, but it's not the biggest it's deal in the world. It's not the biggest deal. We can come from 50th. Pushing up for qualifying. Fingers crossed that we are, we've worked through all of our issues here. Ben needs a good qualifying run here. Currently got 26. It's a little bit better, 14. 962 24 stall racing here we put Ben in the field at number 24 we've eliminated driver error as the cause for that we're squarely mid pack with a group of about 48 so we're going uh, desperation may not be the right word we'll call it aggressive we're gonna make changes to our width and the gear and we'll see that where that ends uh, puts us. Hopefully, uh, big improvement. 
little bit different situation here, running in race trim, running in packs. How do we eliminate driver error? I still think the driver's got plenty of, of air in it, but... Okay, so we're going to undo all the changes and just tell him to fix the driver. Good dad. He's skipping this one. He, he said you need to prove that uh, it's worth watching. better right yeah it's the better best I've felt we're in search of less front grip and we had as little as we could get uh, running the tires or the wheels rather the traditional way so we have actually flipped them this valve stem is usually facing outwards we flipped them and that has taken away about two about a full two inches from the front width we're really just taking big swings here uh, but I feel good about this change. I like it. I just got done with my second heat race. And, you know, it didn't end up very well. I lost three positions total. Um, you'll probably never hear somebody say this, but like, I definitely felt like I was a lot faster than the guys I was running with, and it's weird to say that, being, falling by three spots, but it was, it was a combination of kind of unlucky, um, poor decision making, uh, getting like trained a little bit. But it's just frustrating because there was somebody up at the front of the group that was just not fast and because of that like nobody decided for whatever reason nobody wanted to pass him everybody else everybody we were just passing each other and stuff and um made a few moves was up then i was down and just finished finished back a little bit after after some stuff but it's just it was a rough rough race a lot of a lot of chaos out there What a great heat too. A pair of heat races coming up here shortly and I'll I'll get it figured out by then. I wanted to take a quick break here from the Grand National action to announce something uh, in my personal life that's super exciting. My wife Sarah uh, is pregnant with our first child. It's gonna be a little boy. We're gonna name him Finley. And my dad, it's gonna be his first grandchild. Um, pretty excited about it. And he has started a cool little project. It's a little blog. Uh, where he writes letters to Finley, um, basically just kind of outlining his thoughts on whatever it is that day. Typical dad, it's very funny with, uh, with a lot of sentiment and it means a lot to me that he writes them. And uh, if you guys just can't get enough stall racing, um, feel free to check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. It's grandpaletters.com and he updates it uh, a few times a week three to four times a week. So feel free to check that out. This racing's intense. I mean, it's fun to watch, but it's stressful. It's stressful as a brother watching him out there. I take comfort knowing that he's smart. He knows what he's doing sometimes. Some might even say the smartest. I stall.
you again. Well, I qualified 25th today, and uh, my key races in order were 15, 27, and 20. So, uh, you know, some good, some bad, uh, some middle. Um, I'll be starting tomorrow, 18th. Uh, essentially, what we went fought through today were just all sorts of setup changes, uncomfortability driving the car, poor driving, um, bad decision making, just pretty much everything poor you could you could think of. We we were there. Uh, setup was something we chased all day, and we started to get a little bit closer, but still, man, just these tires. I don't know what it is, but we just can't nail it. I feel really uncomfortable. Um, we'll figure out what it is. It's hopefully tomorrow. I don't know if we'll ever find that money set up, but. Um, we'll keep getting closer and just trying some new stuff, uh, keep attacking as much as we can, um, and hopefully I'll be uh, moving towards the top 15 for the pre-final and maybe make a make a move to the top 10 in the final. We'll see how the how the dominoes fall tomorrow, though. Feeling but disappointed. I only need one shot, one opportunity. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, when quoting Eminem. Oh! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the pre-final and final day of the LO206 Nationals weekend. Ben has already been out once this morning uh, for practice and all I've heard since is just arguing over whether to go in or go out and sliding and Dad says that if he was out there he could put this part on pole. So. Even summarize further. We're completely lost. <laughs> We're dealing with a prima donna. He's got to go drive through this. So Casey's actually lost on what to do. Dad thinks he knows what to do and thinks it's Ben that's just making it difficult. So, um, and Ben's not here to make a comment. He went inside and is probably playing a video game. And so he'll be starting in 18th today at the pre-final. And then the pre-final determines where he fin where he starts in the final. So Ben, pre-final just wrapped up. I know it wasn't what you wanted. What happened out there? It actually started off as a fairly good start for me. And then I went to turn right and it's just like I just didn't turn like I physically tried to turn but it's just like I just drove straight off the track and um, then after that I was just trying to play catch up but I felt so slow and I just I know I'm driving poorly and it's just it it's so uncomfortable to drive at the same time but it's just unbelievably frustrating that I can't put together any good laps. What this is stemming from is we're running a different tire compound and we can't figure it out on this cart. Well, I'm gonna come to Ben's defense on this. He's, he's a better driver than what, what his results have been. All three of us have been trying to, we've been throwing changes constantly at this cart and we cannot find a setup to make these darn tires work. And uh, his results show it. His results are not really of his driving. Yeah, he's he's not driving well because the cart's handling poorly. Well, it's Hail Mary time. And we have thrown about the only setup onto this cart that we haven't ran yet. Um, 
So he's going into the final starting, I think, 31st or 32nd. And we just figured, at this point, we don't have anything to lose. Uh, Ben's been complaining of too much grip. And I don't think it's a secret. We have struggled coming to terms with these tires. Uh, nothing against the tires. It really says more about us than the tires. But we struggled. So what we've done is we have widened the rear as much as we can, trying to take out grip from the rear. And we have done the same trick with the front. We have flipped the tires, or the wheel rather, to get less front grip. We're going to try it. It's really the only combination we haven't tried is wide rear, narrow front. It is 30th, Robin Hagen is 31st, Ben Stoll is 32nd, Justin McCarthy is... <laughs> Let's do this, Benji. Go get him, buddy. So, Ben, you started at the back of the pack in the final race with a Hail Mary setup, which actually was working out for the few laps that you were out there. Um, but that brings us to the bad news, and why don't you take it from there? Yeah, the race started. A lot of, a lot of chaos just ensued immediately. We had to red flag the race actually on the second lap. So after um, the red flag you restarted based on however you crossed the line after one lap, so I had to give up a few spots because I felt pretty good and I was able to move up a little bit. Um, after that even more chaos ensued which is weird because it was a single file restart. Got a little crazy going to that Monza turn and it was like three or four wide and several rows of it and it was, I don't know exactly what happened, it happened so quickly, but essentially one guy got sideways or something then like we all piled up and then <laughs> we got just ram rammed by somebody who didn't apparently see it, all the waving yellow flags and all the 15 carts laying on the, the yeah, track was, like that. Yeah, that was pretty incredible to see. It was just kind of like, what? So that happened. Um, luckily, all I, all I escaped with just a tie rod. Show you that. The tie rod itself actually seems to be all right. Just really the end part snapped. Um, so really minimal damage. Um, I, I don't know if anything's like really bent. It sucks because I know Dad and Casey both put a lot of time into getting this thing set up right. And we finally did it. I think for the final, it was at least the best it had ever felt. And I think it was um, had a lot of potential there. Uh, and it was not to be. It's tough, but it, I mean, it, it was still, it was a good experience. I think I learned a lot from it for sure. Um, setup wise, hopefully if, if I have to run these tires again, we at least, you know, know what we're running off of a little bit better, but. Um, That's right. We've got some notes. So if we, if we come back next year, we should only be half as lost. Yeah. Well, a bit of a disappointing weekend, but it's still a lot of good, good times, good laughs. Thanks to these two guys next to me for, um, even through my poor driving and just, I don't know, it felt like a waste of time sometimes, sticking with it and uh, getting me set up as best we could. Um, please like, share, subscribe, or don't subscribe because we're getting a little bit close and I don't feel like eating a habanero. We uh, need to get to 150, so. 150 um, subscribers by November 1st, this guy eats a habanero. Make it happen. Or don't. Thanks for watching.